So I spent like half a day collecting data and logging the data for this video. And I know just a small portion of you guys actually like or care about or interested in this. But anyway, I thought it was interesting. So uh, what's up, what's up, everybody? Today, I did 500 runs of B11 dungeons because they were just improved. The drop rates were just improved. There's no uh, blue five-star runes. There's no purple five-star runes. They increased. They increased the drop rates for things. So let's actually see. I, again, I have all the data. So let's actually see what was what was increased or not. These are actually, these ones are some B11, uh, sorry, B12 dungeons first. We're going to take a look at some B12 uh, drop rates just to compare, just to see how we feel about, like, you guys know what the B12 drop rates are. You've seen them. <laughs> some of you haven't. Uh, but most of you have seen the B12 drop rates. You know what the screens look like. They're like, okay, that looks like my drops. That looks like my drops. Um, so we're going to see some B12 for comparison first. And then we're going to see the B11s. Uh, and then we are going, I did 200 runs of B12, just a little comparison, not really a full, it would be nice to have a better sample size to get like a really good comparison versus them, but at least we can see what the B11 actually has from them. But anyway, we're going to take a look at the B12 drop rates just as a refresher, then we're going to go take a look at the uh, B11 drop rates, then we're going to see some uh, spreadsheets and pie charts. <laughs> because why not spreadsheets and pie charts? So anyway, these are some B again. These are all these ones are B12 first. B12, B12, right? So I did uh, I did some of uh, some of giants, some of dragons, some of necro. I tried to do a little bit of all of them. Uh, this way we get kind of a kind of a look. There's a lot of blues. There's a lot of purple. They're all six stars because it's B12, right? So just as a little recap. These are some of the drop rates from B12 dungeons. Oh, we got a little mystical scroll there. I'm sure we didn't get anything from it. Uh, there we go for these. There are also, uh, we'll get to those in, uh, after that. So let me, and we'll take a look at the uh, B11 ones. These are the more interesting ones because you guys know what the B12 ones already look like. Now, these ones here are all B11 dungeons. There's a mix of giants, dragons, necro. There's a little bit of each of them. These were also, uh, keep in mind that these were, again, B11 dungeons. These were done on like all, it's like free to win, L the only beginner's grind. So don't expect like crazy, like, oh my God, 30 second. I mean, I could have probably put 30 second, 45 second, whatever teams in there, but uh, I wasn't really paying too much attention to like the units in there. I was just trying to pay attention to what things actually dropped from there. There are 50 slides of this. So like, don't get too hung up about uh, this, right? Uh, so there are 50 slides in here. Each one of them has 10 drops. That's 500, uh, 500 drops total. And I put this also in a spreadsheet. So we could take a look at all of these. And one of the things that we notice, if we, if we notice, you're gonna notice more of these actually. There's a lot more orange here. There's a lot more legendaries here, right? I mean, we see these, these are, uh, these are again, these are B11. Oh, these are uh, B11s. But these ones look kind of like the, the B12, right? Because we saw, we're seeing like half purple, half blue. Uh, these ones look kind of like the B12s. But the thing, with, uh, the thing with these B11s, though, is there's more legendaries overall. However, the majority of the legendaries are five star, right? So there's some legendaries here, but they're only five star. There's some legendaries here. There's some legendaries here. One of them is a six star. We're seeing, I mean, like we're seeing it. We're seeing roughly similar stuff. We're seeing a lot of blues. We're seeing purples, but there are more legendaries on average. And again, even across uh, across a lot of these, there's more legendaries on average. There's more orange just overall in these screenshots. And we'll take a look in the um, at the percentages in the charts. But like you see here, that there's more there's more orange here than there was in the B12s. I'm not saying that these are like B11s are uh, better. I'm just saying that there are more legendaries in these drops overall, but there are most of the legendaries are five star, right? So keep that in mind. Don't be like, oh my God, I'm going to get all these legendary six stars in B11. And I'm not, I'm not saying B11 is better. I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm just saying, let's take a look at the data and let's see what we actually see from here. Why are these too big? Why are these too big? Yeah, why are these all too big? So anyway. Yeah, let's take a look at those. Let's take a look. Yeah, we could basically see. Why are they so big? If I knew they were going to be this big, the other ones weren't this. Why are they different sizes? All right, you guys get the idea, though, right? You guys get the idea. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet in a second. 
right? We see some more, we see a lot, like it's, it's a noticeable amount more orange. However, majority of them are five stars. If you guys are paying attention, majority, like look at all these. These are all five stars, right? So we kind of get an idea, and this is just to show you guys an idea of what kind of drops are actually coming out of B11 versus the uh, B12. So all of these right here were B11. Now we're onto this spreadsheet, and one of the things that I want to mention is I initially didn't even plan on doing anything on the B12 dungeons at all, so these weren't even supposed to be there. I just wanted to show the rates for the B11 dungeons, and then I was like, you know what, I'm farming some B12 dungeons. I may as well include some of these as well, just to see, just to see uh, like a small comparison. This should be, I mean, this should be, if we want to compare them side by side, we should have a larger sample size. A thousand plus, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 would be optimal. Right? The larger the sample size, the more accurate the results. So a 200, a sample size of just 200 runs for B12 dungeons, that's really not enough to get an accurate, uh, an accurate understanding. But at least we could see a little bit more with 500, we could see a little bit more on the, uh, the B11 drop rates anyway. So just food for thought. Uh, again, this is a disclaimer. B12 dungeons, small sample size. Larger sample size can be done for more accurate. If you guys want me to do a larger sample size, uh, I can do that. Just let me know if you, if you really want to see it. Uh, let me know in the comments below. So anyway, B11 dungeons. Let's take a look at these. That's uh, that's here. So legendary five-star runes. We got 119 total out of the 500 runs. 23.8% uh, drop rate is what we got on here, right? Uh, then we got... Uh, so, so again, we don't have any blue five stars. We don't have any uh, purple five stars, right? It was just legend five stars. And that's a pretty decent amount, right? Uh, and then uh, rare six stars, 154 represents basically about a third, right? Basically about a third, 30.8%. Hero six star, purple six stars, uh, is 16%. Legendary six stars, again, legendary six stars from B11 dungeons is 2.2% in our sample size was two, or in 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 these 500 runs wound up to be 2.2 percent of the drops were legendary six stars right uh rainbow mon worth uh 18 rainbow mons total i didn't separate the two and the three star ones i just lumped them all together 3.6 uh now these ones actually another thing that i want to note uh over here uh symbol of harmony the green ones drop more in giants symbol of transcendence drops more in dragons and symbol of chaos drops more in necropolis so it seems here that i just farmed more necropolis of the b11 dungeons so don't don't take into consider don't don't take this uh too seriously like oh well these uh, symbol of chaos drop more in all the dungeons that's not true this is just it wound up being that i was farming more uh, necropolis b11 than anything else so and then i was farming uh the second most of giants and the third most of uh dragons uh b11 so just take that worth a grain of salt Altogether, it was 15.2%, which is kind of similar to the B12 drop rates of 15.5. It's probably in, in Comp to Us code, it's probably like says 15% chance to drop one of the symbols, right? And it's weighted differently uh, for, again, it's weighted differently for the dungeon that you are farming, but it's probably a 15% drop rate, just overall, for, for any symbol to drop. Uh, and then we're getting pretty close to that. It's probably the same for both of those. I would assume that it's the same for both of those. Uh, rune pieces, we got 4.4% here. We got 22 drops total. Um, not 22 rune pieces total. 22 situations where a handful of rune pieces would drop. Uh, so it was a 4.4% chance over here to get rune pieces. Shapeshifting. We only got one shapeshifting. Uh, I, I think it was like two or three pieces of shapeshifting. Uh, shapeshifting stones, which is very, very low drop rate, but we know it's very, very low. Otherwise, they would never sell skin packs, right? Uh, mystical scrolls, we got uh, seven over here. Uh, unknown scrolls, we got seven as well, so it looks like they're probably around the same drop rate. Summon stones, we got uh, we got less than 1% uh, drop rate on the summon stones. And there are not really too many summon stones uh, over there, but basically, we want to see... We want to see these ones. We want to see what the what the chances of getting a legend five star, rare six star, hero six star, uh, all of these over here. That's the thing that we're most concerned with, right? Um, then if we go to, we don't need to really take a look at all this stuff on the the B12 dungeons. I was just doing some. Yeah, I was like, while we're here, may as well see the things that we did for the the B12 dungeons. 
Um, so there was a 45.5% drop rate of only 200 sample size, though. This is only a 200 sample size, so keep that in mind. It wasn't like a super huge sample size. I mostly, I mostly wanted to see the B11 drop rates, if they were anything I should be excited about, right? So 45% of the time when we did the B12 dungeons, we were getting rare six-star runes, blue six-star runes. 25.5% uh, of the time, again, only a 200 sample size. But 25.5% of the time, we would get uh, hero six-star runes. Uh, only three out of 200 runs, we only got three legend six-star runes, right? So it is, uh, I mean, again, this is it's probably the same. Well, actually, if it's the same, hold on. If it's the same, because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that this is just because it's a small sample size is why it's uh, 1.5 and this is uh, 2.2. And I was like, it's probably going to be the same. I'm like, if it's the same, that's... Why is it the same for B12 and B11? Like, even here, right now, it's, and again, small sample size. So I really should, I really should do a larger sample size. We should follow this up with a larger sample size video where we actually see like 1,000 runs, 2,000 runs, see... See what the sample size of these Legend 6-star runes is with B11 versus B12. And actually, there is software that you can use to track this uh, in larger sample size without doing it all manually. I happen to do this manually, but it would be... You know, we'll, we'll explore the possibility of seeing this across, um, across the software. Right? Having the software track it, and this way we could do a little bit easier of a sample size for, for just these Legend 6-star runes, or even more of the runes overall. But, uh, yeah, these are basically the same over here, like I said already. Uh, it was just interesting that we got a significant amount more legendary drops overall, uh, whereas here um, on, on B11s, although there were five stars, right? And then uh, B12s was a lot more rares than B11s. So, again, this is the, the, the B12 dungeons don't drop five-star runes at all. Uh, whereas the B11 dungeons drop five-star runes, but they're only going to be legendary now. So anyway, uh, I mean, take that for what it is. Again, like I said a million times already, it's a small sample size. We really should do a, a larger sample size. because It's kind of like, it kind of is a little bit interesting to see. Of course, we know that the legend six-star runes are such a small, small, uh, small amount here. But if they are the same or very close... It's kind of interesting, but why are they the same or very close for uh, B11 and B12? So I was expecting actually this to be like almost nothing and this to be like a noticeable amount larger, which this was kind of like the, this was kind of like the, the shocker there, which is why I want to see more of this, right? So uh, let's take a look now at the pie chart. So here we have some pie charts for you guys, just to give you a visual example of the drop rates. I mean, we saw the spreadsheets, we saw all the, the actual screenshots of the different, um, the different drops, but you know, I like to make pie charts. So I was like, let's make some pie charts. I did color code these as well. So you can see rare six, uh, rare six stars. This is B12. This one is B12 over here. So that's why we see the 45.5 this is the B12 drop rates. So we see this big chunk of blue. It's almost half blue, almost half rare runes. Here are six stars. Again, it's like one quarter, right? These are all, this big pink right here is all uh, crafting symbols, right? All crafting symbols. This, this, this is the same wedge. is about the same size for both of these, right? So we're just taking a look at kind of the percentage. Uh, this is the legendary six stars. Because, <laughs> like, yep, that's what it looks like on my account, too. That's why I don't have any. Like, that's why, that is why you don't have any, right? Uh, and then we have unknown scrolls, mystical scrolls, shape-shifting stones. Uh, these might be a little bit bigger or smaller uh, when we have a larger sample size. That's kind of the thing here. Like, these ones over here are going to be bigger or smaller, a uh, little bit shifted when we have like a thousand sample size, two thousand sample size, whatever, instead of just 200. But these ones should be about the same size, these these big chunks, right? That's kind of how that works. Uh, so this one, like I said, is B12, and you can see lots of rare, lots of hero, a little bit legendary. And then we have the rune pieces, and then this one is B11. So again, it's color-coded. I thought I had the colors matching a little bit more, but they're not quite matching entirely. I mean, this is still the rune pieces, still a big chunk. Rainbow Mon is still here. They're both yellow on both of them. The rares, in general, are only about a third of the pie, right? There's a smaller slice. There's a significantly smaller slice, right? 
heroes are over here. This is a small area as well. And then this big chunk of legendaries. Like we still have this small sl sliver of legendary six stars, but this big chunk of legendaries, these are the legendary five stars here. So again, I tried to color code it to make you guys like, so you could visually see how much we're actually getting from all this stuff. The pale one is the five stars. The, the darker one is the six stars. Uh, and again, these ones are all kind of smaller stuff. The, again, this mystical scroll thing, this should really be... Like, across a larger sample size, this should kind of even out, and they should be, like, the same size slice. Because uh, we actually... I think this is just a fluke that we got more mystical scrolls from 11 than 12. I don't think that more mystical scrolls should drop overall on 11 versus 12. I think this just happens to be... On a larger sample size, it should it should even out a little bit more. Again, for these small ones, it should even out. But the bigger ones, the bigger ones should be kind of accurate, right? So anyway, I just wanted to food for thought, right? Food for thought. Took some time to do this, uh, just because I was curious, and I thought maybe you guys would be curious as well. What kind of drops we're actually getting from these B11 dungeons? I'm not saying go out and farm. Stop farming B12 dungeons. If you have B12 dungeon teams, farm B12 dungeons. But if you have if you can't do B12s, or if they take you five minutes, like if you're early to mid game and you're like struggling and you don't have a lot of time to, to, to do dungeon farming teams, you're like, I wanna do Tricaru, but I'm not ready for Tricaru yet. I can do B11 with the teams that I have, the things, the monsters that I built for other stuff. Uh, is B11 really worth it? Like B11 seems to be doing, I mean, it's disappointing drops either way. That's the thing, I think I saved like five they're not even great runes to be honest i i save like five runes overall from the 700 runs total i save five runes and they're not really good runes they're just like you can use them for something for siege kind of situation <laughs> so yeah there's less than one percent are like good runes if you if you do like 100 runs you get like one you usable maybe rune um, so that's kind of the situation there is like, I legitimately like save almost no runes. So anyway, but that's kind of standard, right? That's kind of standard. You, that's why you just have to run dungeons over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. But anyway, that's it for this one. I think a lot of people are going to complain that I didn't do a large enough sample size, which is why I wanted to mention that as much as possible, but it's just food for thought. It's just interesting data to see. And then uh, if you guys are interested, we can do larger sample size. We can see more. But anyway, uh, I just thought this was interesting, and I thought I would do this for you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.